Well, happy Monday. Christmas is now just around the corner. I pray God's great blessings on you and your household, family, and friends as you celebrate Christmas. Of course, it's going to be different this year probably than last year, but it's a celebration nonetheless because God is good and gracious having sent His Son Jesus to be our Savior. I want to mention a couple of things as we get started this week. If you haven't turned in your commitment for Bible reading for 2021, I want to encourage you to do that uh, yet this week. You can either email me a copy or send me a picture of it or send that on to the office. Uh, you could also drop it off the commitment card or uh, uh, mail it uh, and, and get that to us. So if you haven't done that, please do that. Remember at St. Luke, we read the Bible because it's there in, in the Bible that we learn about God's love for us in Jesus Christ. I also want to mention that if you are coming to our 3 p.m. outdoor worship service at the Meridian campus, I want to encourage you to dress accordingly. It's going to be outdoors. Bring a blanket. Feel free to bring your own lawn chairs. I trust that you're finding all of the worship opportunities that we have for you Christmas Eve and Christmas Day listed on our website, knowingjesus.org. I want to mention something uh, briefly that we looked at yesterday in the message about Zechariah and how uh, he was filled with the Holy Spirit at the birth of his son and, and how he balanced things. I'm not sure I'd noticed this before. I mean, let me set the, the scene for you. He and Elizabeth have just had a baby, John. They've been waiting for this baby. They've been praying for this baby. They've been anticipating this baby. What a great gift from God. But notice what happens uh, when Zechariah is filled with the Holy Spirit. This is Luke chapter 1, verses 63 through 79. Look at what happens. Zechariah brags lots more about Jesus than he does about John. Uh, here is this great gift, a, a good gift of a son, and yet the, the thing that, that Zechariah really gushes about is the coming of the Savior, Jesus, the horn of salvation. I think there's something very instructive here for us. Uh, often the heart of idolatry is when we let good things become ultimate things. It's good to have kids. Uh, it's good to have kids and grandkids. It's good to have loved ones and families. Uh, it's good to have material possessions. It's good to have jobs that we enjoy. It's good to have the, the good things that God has given to us. But if we ever let those good things become the ultimate thing, that's when we have a problem. I want to encourage you uh, this week to read through Luke chapter 1. Uh, the whole thing. This is the run-up to the birth of Jesus in Luke chapter 2. And I want you to notice the work of the Holy Spirit in Luke chapter 1. And think about the work of the Holy Spirit in your life as well. And as you study on that, and as you think about that, see how the Holy Spirit helps you to celebrate the good things that, that God has given you in life without becoming the ultimate thing. But that would always be Jesus. Jesus, uh, whose birth we, we come to celebrate, uh, placed in the manger. And, and Jesus, the one we're going to see on Good Friday, raised up on the cross. And Jesus, the one we find Easter Sunday, raised again from the dead. And Jesus, the one we see ascended on high. Jesus, the one who is at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. And Jesus. The one who's going to come back again in glory to take us to be with him. Boy, we have a lot to celebrate this week. God grant you a very merry Christmas.